This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Kia ora, good evening. I'm Simon Anderson. Budding young scientists from across the South are displaying their research projects for the public and a panel of judges. Works at the Otago Science and Technology Fair are on show at the Hutton Theatre and the Otago Museum until a prize giving this coming weekend. Potentially saving them with science. Logan Park High School pupil Henry Eden Mann's entry for this year's Otago Science and Technology Fair is an autonomous plane designed to deliver medication to remote villages in Cambodia. Convener Stephen Sexton says Eden Mann's project is typical of the caliber of projects on display. It's on anything that's science, technology, engineering, mathematics related, um, for them to basically come in and they present their display board of what they've been doing. Um, they'll talk to two judges who will then talk to them a question about what did you do, why why were you doing this? What did you learn about it? There are about 340 presentations in total, which span every sector of science, maths and technology. Schools have entered from across the south, and while some teams couldn't get through due to yesterday's wintry blast, the team from Strathtyree School in Middlemarch simply had a longer drive than usual. So it was snowing and there was snow at school, so at school was cancelled, but we had to go around the long way, which took about two hours. So it was past the train so instead of coming, going. past like Lee Street and then here. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. usually we'd go down State Highway 87, but it was sharp because it was covered in snow. And it would only take, only take an hour, not two. It's not just fame and eternal glory up for grabs. Convener Stephen Sexton says the judges expect to make their decisions by the end of today and there are a wide range of rewards on offer. Um, some of these students can come up with several hundred dollars worth of prize money, as well as we'll have premier prize winners who will basically potentially best in fair, um, our most senior uh, researcher, our junior researcher, um, the Otago Institute for Arts and Sciences will do a best general science one. So different categories will be awarded premier prizes. The Hutton Theatre is full of all manner of projects, from green ideas like how to recycle disposable plastic bags, to using drone technology for the greater good. The displays will be open to the public at Otago Museum from tomorrow until Sunday. In Dunedin, the South Today. A spectacular water geyser shot up into the sky in Dunedin yesterday as contractors decommissioned an old water main. Dana contractors were working on the water main at Cannon Gate when one of its fittings failed, causing a fountain of water. The water outage lasted for a couple of hours while the pipe was being replaced. The Dunedin City Council says there was no additional cost despite the disruption. Bees are bringing not just honey, but also money at a Lake Harwea art studio. The busy little insects were the subject of an art class over the weekend as a collaborative artwork raised $175 for the Cancer Society. Smearing a hand-etched Perspex plate with ink, ready for printing. Last weekend's two-day workshop at Jenny Sutherland's art class at Lake Hawea saw nine budding adult artists learn the intricacies of dry point etching. The ladies all picked a topic um, of the bee and they made their variety of images of bees looking at the tools and how they could make those tones and those marks. And then they practiced inking that up because that's the skill in itself and learning the process from start to finish. While the course was all about making the artists feel confident about their work and helping them understand how they could work together, the project turned into a fundraiser. The class decided to use the beautiful etchings to pay it forward, very much like the community spirit of an actual beehive, creating a collaborative piece which raised $175 online for the Cancer Society. You know, a bee is very much a collaborative animal. It works together for the better of the hive. Recognising the bee as a helpful, kindly insect also provided inspiration for the artwork's title. They thought that the bee was such a, a great sort of topic for them for being kind. So they've named the piece Be Kind. So nine different artists with nine different images of bees and I printed out their work and made it into one collaborative piece. Central Art Space holds art classes in a range of media. 
with students ranging in age from young children through to adults. In Lake Hawea, the South Today. An investigation has found the spectacular fire at a car retailer in Queenstown a couple of months ago was caused by a spark from an electric drill. The blaze, the blaze left a staff member with burns on his hands, destroyed three cars and prompted a large scale call out by fire and emergency. A fire and emergency New Zealand investigation found the fire was caused by a mechanic accidentally igniting petrol vapour while drilling a hole in a plastic fuel tank. The mechanic said it's normal procedure to take out fuel that way because of an additive that crystallised in the fuel system. However, the drill's instructions said it should not be operated in the presence of flammable liquids. More than 30 volunteer firefighters, as well as five fire trucks, responded, abating the blaze within about half an hour. The snow farm in the Cadrona Valley near Wanaka celebrated 30 years of operation over the weekend. Supporters were told at a celebratory lunch on Saturday the snow farm intends to expand the services it offers to cross-country skiers. Cadrona Valley's snow farm celebrating turning 30 years old. The field is the only non-profit ski area in the lakes region, being owned and operated by the Pisa Alpine Charitable Trust on Queenstown Lakes District Council land. The farm was developed in the 1980s as a Nordic ski destination by John and Mary Lee and is now managed by their son, Sam Lee. Supporters at the birthday lunch were told the farm has been overlooked as a tourism destination, but they have plans to expand the school's program by having a dedicated hut for students and teachers for multi-day stays, as well as expanding the cross-country ski trails. We want to see if we can do this, and so we're going to need your support, talk about the snow farm, tell people about it. The weekend's events included fun cross-country ski races, as well as christening the new snow groomer with the name Jeff. In Wanaka, the South Today. Still to come on the South Today, we have the last instalment of our series from CTV, meeting with volunteers who helped after the Christchurch mosque attacks. Step into Shop on Carroll and discover a shop full of treasures. We have a fantastic range of vintage and retro clothes, upmarket clothing labels, collectible items, beautiful jewellery, quality linen and the best range of vintage haberdashery. At Alex Campbell Menswear we bring you the best value. We have bought a massive selection of moleskins and we're passing on the savings to you. Buy one pair, save $25. Buy two, save $60, and we have a great deal on our knitwear. Look at it all, 25% off all our knitwear. And to go with the knitwear, what about a nice warm shirt? These are 25% off too. And while we're doing the 25% off, what about on the jackets? 25% off them as well. Alex Campbell Menswear, it fits. So check us out for massive savings this winter. seen us in the street, now find us online. Check out shopon.org.nz. We have all sorts of treasures, from retro and vintage clothing to antiques, homewares and accessories. New items added every week. We're open 24-7. A poorly maintained heat pump can lose up to 35% of its output. The Mr Heat Pump Cleaner team are experts. Their specially developed chemical wash is totally biodegradable. Call Mr Heat Pump Cleaner and get the job done by the professionals. Garador Dunedin, delivering quality, stylish garage doors in Dunedin for over 17 years. New doors, replacement doors and maintenance are all part of Garador's quality service. Garador Dunedin offers a full range of modern quality doors to suit any home. Come visit the team. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. If you're suffering from sciatica, lower back pain, hips and pelvis and knees, this technique will work wonders for you. The energy flow is transmitting through the muscles. Come and see Sunny Chin. 
Step into Ross Cafe, located at Ross Home in North East Valley. We have a great range of hot and cold food, friendly service and a warm atmosphere that you are sure to enjoy. We look forward to serving you soon at Ross Cafe. Step into Op Shop on St Andrew and discover a place with plenty of bargains for yourself, your friends and the whole family. We have new items arriving every day. Visit us for a fabulous range of economy and upmarket clothing, accessories, books, shoes and more. Shop with us and support your community. of Put Some Colour in Your Life are now screening on Channel 39. Take a look at Australian artists and the techniques they use in their studio. Put Some Colour in Your Life, Tuesdays, 7.30. Hello, Welcome back. The Christchurch terror attack in March devastated the Muslim community and the city. Several volunteer groups rallied to support victims' families, the injured, and the, wisely, the wider Muslim community. Here we have the final part of our seven-part series, meeting with just a few of the hundreds of volunteers who helped out. My name is Sharif Ibrahim and I'm come here with, with my friend um, volunteering. Uh, yeah, I was actually in the mosque so at that time, so um, lucky to be alive, So, but and lucky to be able to um, help out. But it, it gives you perspective in the fact that you know, uh, uh, life can be very short. It's a tough time, but through the darkness there's a ray of light. And the ray of light is that we're all coming together, we're all uniting as one. We put another call out for drivers and we have like, I think 50 people just came in. So um, we're using, while we're waiting for the updated list of the victims that need stuff, we are putting them to work. You guys want to bring in the boxes and just start packing them up and getting them out. I started volunteering yesterday. Um, I put my name forward and I thought, well, hey, I just want to help. I was just so touched. These people, they didn't deserve this. You know, they're innocent. Well, to me, I'm overwhelmed with the generosity of the community, but I'm also very saddened that it's needed. It's horrendous, it's unthinkable, but it's happened, and we have to face it. It doesn't take much for tears or a change in mood, um, but it's best to keep busy, and that's what we're doing here. Okay, so, oh, my pen doesn't work. And City Central. That should be enough soup for you, my love. We dropped a few gifts off yesterday, but I saw they were after eggs and some tins, so we dropped that off, and they're looking for drivers, so hopefully this one will have a nap and we can drop a few things off to the family. Uh, we just felt it was a small way we could contribute. There, there was a, a post came out on um, Facebook, so we just followed the list really, it's pretty straightforward. I think it's been quite amazing with the community, the way they've rallied around everyone. And now we have a whole heap of people turning up already to help, which is, this is what we do, this is why we're doing it, so it's amazing. We decided to um, wear headscarves in support of you know, our Muslim sisters that maybe aren't feeling so safe and you know, being out and about at the moment. So we just really wanted them to see more people, that they can just feel a little less of a target. And I think this will just be another one of those hideous experiences that we'd take back in a heartbeat, but what we get out of it, I think, will be a sense of compassion and a sense of empathy. My name is Brianna Moller, and I am volunteering here at the Christchurch Victims Organising Committee as security and also greeter of people and also keeper of keys. <laughs> I do about 12 hours here a day, 12 to 13 hours, depending on what's needed, because 
I just want these people that are doing this amazing work to feel safe. And I know I'm just one little, probably the smallest security guard in New Zealand. Um, but, uh, you know, I just want to be, be there for them. Um, one of the volunteers made these and oh, to give everyone morning tea because apparently they didn't get anything yesterday. I've cried about 74 times per day, um, each day. And not because I'm upset, but because I'm overwhelmed and incredibly amazed by the people that have come in here in the thousands and it's made me realize that for everything bad or for every bad person there's thousands upon thousands of incredible people. No, just, just make them, a, no, just make a pack up whatever okay. you think they'll need. So two boxes for each family and to make sure they've got some nice fruit and veggies as well yes. and rice and couscous. Yes, my name is Daniel, uh, I'm from Indonesia. I'm friends with a um, with the son and the and the dad. So I was waiting around um, when I heard that he turned out to be one of the victims. I'm taking food directly uh, for the family, but I thought uh, because there's so many uh, victims affected um, and I have some space in my car, I was wondering if I can just carry some more parcels um, to uh, other victims that might be located around um, in this, you know, in the in the area. So and we'll see how it goes. I think, you know, this is really what Kiwis, you know, being Kiwi is all about, the outturing of support just even this morning and here. So many people coming and dropping off things, um, not just food. Some people even going back twice when they hear that there's, you know, a call for more eggs or and sharing their kind of personal stories of why they wanted to help out. And I think that's just, um, you know, very moving to see so many people getting involved in this. Oh, wow. These meats have been halal slaughtered. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a long road. There's lots of children. They've lost their fathers, you know, and um, I lost my father when I was seven, so I have some empathy for that. You know, I understand that that is a, something that follows you all your life. This is my first day here, and I've actually come in to sign up for really long term volunteering. I think the need is going to be for many, many months and years in the future, you know, working with families, especially with children, because I work with children and I think that's really important, that they feel supported and even for them to process what has happened. I know that it takes a long time for wounds to heal and for their trust to come back and I think everybody needs to work towards that and so I'm here for the long haul. No more hate, just love. That's, we need more love and that's what, there's more love in New Zealand now than before, guarantee it. After the break on the South Today, we find out how much freedom campers have spent in Dunedin and we have a look at the weather including the outlook for Thursday. All new episodes of Put Some Colour in Your Life are now screening on Channel 39. Take a look at Australian artists and the techniques they use in their studio. Put Some Colour in Your Life, Tuesdays 7.30. shop on St Andrew and discover a place with plenty of bargains for yourself, your friends and the whole family. For a fabulous range of economy and upmarket clothing, accessories, books, shoes and more. Shop with us and support your community. <laughs> 
A poorly maintained heat pump can lose up to 35% of its output. The Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner team are experts. Their specially developed chemical wash is totally biodegradable. Call Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner and get the job done by the professionals. Garador Dunedin, delivering quality, stylish garage doors in Dunedin for over 17 years. New doors, replacement doors and maintenance are all part of Garador's quality service. Garador Dunedin offers a full range of modern quality doors to suit any home. Come visit the team. Step into Ross Cafe, located at Ross Home in North East Valley. We have a great range of hot and cold food, friendly service and a warm atmosphere that you are sure to enjoy. We look forward to serving you soon at Ross Cafe. At Alex Campbell Menswear, we bring you the best value. We have bought a massive selection of moleskins and we're passing on the savings to you. Buy one pair, save $25. Buy two, save $60 and we have a great deal on our knitwear. Look at it all. 25% off all our knitwear. And to go with the knitwear, what about a nice warm shirt? These are 25% off too. And while we're doing the 25% off, what about on the jackets? 25% off them as well. Alex Campbell Menswear, it fits. So check us out for massive savings this winter. If you're suffering from sciatica, lower back pain, hips and pelvis and knees, this technique will work wonders for you. The energy flow is transmitting through the muscles. Come and see Sunny Chin. Step into Shop on Carol and discover a shop full of treasures. We have a fantastic range of vintage and retro clothes, upmarket clothing labels, collectible items, beautiful jewellery, quality linen and the best range of vintage haberdashery. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. You've seen us in the street, now find us online. Check out shopon.org.nz. We have all sorts of treasures, from retro and vintage clothing to antiques, homewares and accessories. New items added every week. We're open 24-7. Thanks for staying with us. A rugby player who allegedly punched a referee after being sent off has been released on bail and ordered not to leave New Zealand. Via Ulysses, 27, appeared in the Dunedin District Court this morning, charged with the assault of Brendan Hale in July. Ulysses was granted bail on the proviso he lives at the Balclutha address and does not contact the complainant. Ulysses was playing for the Crescent Rugby Club in a season-ending game against Strathtyre in Middlemarch when the alleged incident happened. The Otago Rugby Union is also undertaking its own investigation. Freedom campers are estimated to have spent more than $3 million during the last camping season. This news comes after it was reported the City Council spent over $100,000 on providing services for freedom campers last summer. Council surveys say more than 30,000 freedom campers visited the city over the summer, which e with each camper spending about $50 a night. There was a 25% increase in the number of campers staying under designated freedom camping sites in the past season. This number is expected to increase by another 25% next year. Infringement notices totaled just over $100,000, with a little over half having been received by Council. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South today. Budding young scientists from across the South are displaying their research projects for the public and a panel of judges. Bees are bringing in not just honey, but also money at a Lake Hawea art studio, raising nearly $200 for the Cancer Society. And the snow farm in Cadrona Valley near Wanaka celebrated 30 years of operation over the weekend with a party for supporters and plans for the future. And now look at what's happening in tomorrow's ODT. We welcome Craig Page.
Kia ora, Craig. Good evening. Yeah, we've got uh, the latest on under investigation, under investigation Dunedin Financial Advisor Barry Clue. Um, we reported in May that Mr Clue was being investi investigated by the Serious Fraud Office and his status as a financial controller had been suspended. Um, no charge has been laid against him as yet, uh, but since we, since then we've had some pretty heartbreaking stories about people who have invested money through Mr Clue oh, and okay. uh, now at a bit of a loss as to where it's all going. Uh, we've obtained some court documents which show what sort of money we're talking about here and um, the figures are really quite staggering. Mm. Don't want to give too much away tonight, but uh, it would be well worth picking up tomorrow's newspaper for a read. I think people will be quite shocked by it. Uh, fresh food pages tomorrow. Uh, Annabelle Langbein looks at life in the slow lane. That's uh, using slow cookers to produce some delicious meals that are warm you up over winter. Not a big casserole fan myself, but I must admit they do look quite nice. And on the sporting front, we catch up with uh, Targo South African import Louis Conradi. He's a two-metre lock who was born in Pretoria, uh, raised in Cape Town, and admits he's struggling to come to terms with Dunedin's winter at the moment. Um, As am I. Yeah, true. He's only 23, but already played around the world. And, um, yeah, hoping for big things. And with the Mitre 10 Cup due to start this weekend, we're up against Bay of Plenty. So uh, hopefully he'll do the business and be a good signing for us. Look forward to it. Thanks, Thank Craig. And now time for a look at the weather. Tonight's weather proudly brought to you by MolMap. Beginning with the southern view of a snow-covered central Otago filmed from a drone. Looking at the situation, a westerly airflow should bring mostly dry weather to the eastern districts, but some showers to the western ranges and south coast. Starting off at the northwest of the South Island, Greymouth and Westport can expect rain and 13 degrees. Across to the northeast, Nelson and Blenheim are due for cloudy skies and 15. Moving down to Canterbury, Kaikoura has a cloud or two and 13. Christchurch and Ashburton, you're also expecting a cloud or two with 14 degrees. Looking at what's in store for the southern towns, Balclutha, Lumsden, the Catlins and Gore can all expect fresh westerlies and some cloud. It's 10 degree highs for you all. Travelling westwards to the central lakes, moderate westerlies and clear skies across this area. Alexandra and Wanaka, you're due for 9 degrees. Queenstown, planned for just 8. A bit warmer and wetter in Tiano, with fresh westerlies and showers, and a high of 10 degrees. Looking at the northern towns, along the coast, Timaru and Oamaru can expect moderate westerlies, clear skies, and a high of 12. Further inland, Twizel and Omarama, you're set for fresh westerlies, clear skies and a high of 9 degrees. In Dunedin, it'll be mostly cloudy tonight with an overnight low of 5 degrees. Tomorrow brings a mix of sunny periods and high cloud, with moderate west to southwest winds that may be fresh and gusty at times. A high of 12 and an overnight low of 6. It's similar on Thursday with a high of 12 and an overnight low of 6 degrees. And finally moving to Invercargill, you can expect a few showers tonight with an overnight low of 5 degrees. Tomorrow sees mostly cloudy skies with some scattered light showers at times, as well as fine periods. A high of 10, followed by an overnight low of 5. It's similar on Thursday with a high of 11 and a low of 5 degrees. And that's the news this Tuesday. For the latest news from the southern region, head online to odt.co.nz and follow Channel 39 on Facebook and YouTube. Have a great evening. Ka kite anō. This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.